Hey guys, so this week I was meant to be in Japan doing the Tokyo Marathon, but I'm not. I'm still in Melbourne, and that's all because of the coronavirus outbreak. So I'm gonna delve into what it's all about. How did this all begin? It lives in animals, and usually it was only transmitted from animals to animals. But this originated in Wuhan, in a fish market where the virus went from a fish to a person. And this was the very first time anyone was contracted with coronavirus. This is in a space where people were trading and selling all kinds of live fish and animals and livestock. And that's where it was the breeding grounds for this virus. And that's when, when one person got infected, it began to spread. And that's what happened in Wuhan. So what is the coronavirus? It's a sphere-like ball that attaches itself to certain places, but in this in particular, it attaches to your cells in your lungs, and then it multiplies, killing its cells and making it harder for you to breathe. It spreads through our help. It can't move through skin, so how it moves is through coughing, through sneezing, so it moves through the airways, and that's why this has been such a big problem. When people travel, and in particular, Wuhan is an international airport that 3,300 people travel through every day, making this a worldwide epidemic. It has spread through travel mostly, where people weren't even aware they had the virus, let alone they could spread it, where, where China didn't announce to the world until January 20th that this was an epidemic, thanks to the efforts of the World Health Organization. Only now has there been the biggest lockdown of people in the history just to contain the virus. Wearing a mask doesn't contain the virus so simply. You need an N65 mask that is airtight. If it is not airtight, if you come in contact with someone who has the virus and they sneeze or cough, you will be infected. What the mask does do is, if you see someone with a mask, you assume they are infected. So if they touch their hand with their mouth, you know not to be touching their hands. There is no direct treatment at the moment, but do we need a vaccination? Can people still survive the virus even being infected? And the answer to that is yes. So how do you treat the coronavirus? Well, it's like a flu. Imagine having a flu and it will last for two weeks. And then during that time, you'll have symptoms. You might have a runny nose, you might have a shortness of breath. In this case, it attaches to your lungs. So the people who are vulnerable are the elderly and the young to be unable to sustain such damage. However, if you're not young and old, and you may be like me in your 20s, and thank God you might not be terminally ill or have any other conditions, you'll be able to fight off the infection. Your body will naturally identify these foreign cells in your body and make antibodies that will kill these exact cells. That's how people are surviving the coronavirus. The people who are not surviving the coronavirus are the people who aren't getting treatment, who aren't getting their symptoms treated, so require more oxygen in order to overcome this. If you're not young and able to produce antibodies, if you have any other respiratory conditions, if you're young and old and haven't quite developed this antibody system and your, or your immune response system isn't quite up to it, those are the people that are most vulnerable to this disease. But I don't want to freak you out because there are incredible measures taken in today's world to exactly stop this infection from spreading. And hopefully in the next six months, we won't be talking about this. Hopefully in the next month, we won't be talking about it. The Olympic Games in Japan are approaching in a few months time and even though they couldn't do the Tokyo Marathon due to the contamination rate but the world is taking this very seriously and that's why it's been such big news in the media. There's even a map where you can see how many people are infected, how many people are dead and how many people are recovered. I hope that explains to you what exactly coronavirus is, how it helps, why, how it can be treated and why it's become a worldwide response. So uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.